Right Northern Brewing Co. Lager. Righto, this is a revisit, as you would see from the title. I reviewed this last year, uh, December 3rd it was. And uh, anyway, I went back and looked, gave it a C. Anyway, story goes, uh, my old man went up to Townsville and he asked, uh, he was looking for some Cascade beers for me, because I had seen him up that far, and uh, some maybe some Blue Sky Brewing beers up there as well, some ones we can't get down here. Anyway, the guy that bought those said, under the belief that this is brewed in Cairns, uh, or Townsville, uh, said that to me old man, so the old fella didn't know. So he grabbed it for me. You know, it's been in the fridge for about over a month and a half. And um, so I thought I'll leave it there and I'll do a revisit uh, after I get out from bowling one night. And uh, just to go with it, pack a little packet of Grain Waves sour cream and chives. Not quite a potato chip, but yeah, it's salty and really flavorful. Anyway, this beer is brewed in the Yatla Brewery uh, for Cullen United. Sab Miller. There's a big poster out there, according to um, Swillengrog. He saw the big poster for it. <clears throat> well, this is pretty common in my damn Murphy's. Um, usually it's priced around the same as summer. I remember summer being far superior to this beer when I reviewed it. But my toast buds have changed the last uh, 10 months, so it's time we do a revisit. Let's crack it open. So yeah, little fizz, very light, not tight cap. That makes sense, probably not. Anyway, I'm going to use this glass that I got, that I acquired. Yeah. Look at that, look at this, I'm going to tilt the glass today, what a shock. Don't mind. You get aggressive. Oh, so this beer is gone from Yatla, it's gone to Townsville, and it's come back to uh, the Clarence Valley by truck. Yeah, it was catching the esky, the old fella kept it refrigerated. Oh, Dad's good, that's what they're for, eh? they do a good job. Look after your son's beer. Anyway, I've got two finger of white soap your head. Uh, huge amount of carbonation, like this, if you can see that, it is just crazy. I haven't had that much carbonation for a little while. Maybe because I pour straight down the middle. It does disperse a little bit, a little bit more CO2. But anyway, um, yeah, so typical uh, lager. Excuse me, I'll just have another chip. Right, the smell. Yeah, run the mill. Uh, Wet cardboard. Sound like a broken record. I sound like my CD in the car scratched. It keeps jumping. But it is wet cardboard. But anyway, uh, it's been a dry beer. Now they do put a enzyme in the beer which makes it ferment out more. That's pretty much why your extra dries. If you're hammering too much, will give you a real bad hangover. Something severe. Guarantee it. Um, in saying that, I'll tell you what, I have a session on Heineken. Oh, mate, I'll give you the headache. I don't know. The maize, I know they put maize in it. It's uh, mostly uh, Dutch bees do. They've all got maize in it. It's just their job. Anyway, uh, this head's going down, so we get into it. Cheers. Mmm, yeah, hasn't changed much. Mmm. Yeah, it's very bland. It's what it's meant to be. Look, let's, let's be fair to income. It's just meant to be a session beer in a clear bottle. Um, yeah, there is a bit of skunk to it with 
no, so I'm drinking and put my nose in the glass there and picking it up. But, um, you know, you're getting that uh, light breadiness, like I said in the original review, uh, beer, soda, water. Uh, this this batch is probably better with your taste budget change, uh, picking up a bit more malt, but it is loaded with sugar. Um, uh, the body is dry because they use a lot of adjuncts and the enzymes that will dry beer up. That's why you never put too much uh, like dextrose into your home brew because it just makes it too dry. <sighs> the beer overall, comparing it to like the Cabana um, Cerveza, which I reviewed last week, you know, it's just about on par. I'd probably get the Cabana a little bit better because it's a bit cheaper. I know it comes from El Salvador, but it's not too bad. Uh, now it's starting to warm up. Now I am getting, um, I haven't reviewed it, I should have saved the bottle, but Good Head Lager, I made a mistake of buying a carton of that because it was cheap. And it's maybe a little bit more beerish to it than Good Head, but it has a very average ending dry and of course no bitterness, that, that's, that's pretty much non-existent. I don't even know if they use hops in this beer, probably don't. Oh, well, they use hop ec extract, but uh, not a lot of it. Um, yeah, so, I'm a grain wave. It's definitely, I remember last time I didn't have it with food. If you're going to drink it, I think it was something salty, like salty chips or deep fried food, you know, your chips, your chicken, barbecue, you know, salty, salty meats. This will go good with it. Um, look, I'm not going to be as hard on it as I was before. I'll give it a C plus, but um, if you're a craft beer enthusiast, you're going to turn your nose up at it. It's just made for Joe Blow down the street uh, to go and give himself a carton and uh, knock it back with his mates on the weekend. So yeah, C plus on the revisit for Great Northern Brewing Company's Super Crisp Lager. Right over. Until next time. Thanks for joining me for this revisit, and uh, I'll see you all later.